welcome back to part two of Hurlston Hall. Starting off on the 10th. Well, it is the back nine after oh, all. That's a good ball. That it really is a good ball. See, I like the height of that ping. Just overdrawn it a tad. That's okay, it's pin high. Yeah, Simple good. chip. Well, I missed right. I was a little blocked out by a tree. And I've overhit my chip, so I've actually gone off the other side. This is Neil sliding this. He's done well there. He's done well. I don't exactly know why, but I have contracted a very bad case of the pulls. So I'm aiming down the left for my fade and I start hitting them left. So my back nine is not very pretty. So I've just dropped in for a bogey net par. So the team score is still ticking over. Yeah, now it's stopped raining. They've, uh, they've got a little bit more heat in them. Yeah. Oh, you bugger. Oops. 11th tee box. This is so nice. Everything is appointed. Every attention to detail. Competition tee is beyond Neil, and there's a, then there's a blue tee all the way at the back. Not sure I'm long enough of up there. Wow. Par five, dog leg to the left over a drainage ditch. All I'm looking to do here is hit the tiny fade. And it's another one of them. It's a little draw when I'm wanting a fade. Not entirely sure what's going wrong. In fact, I, I didn't diagnose it all the way around. Now here is stupid shot. I'm looking to hook the six iron round the trees, over the water, into that stretch of fairway you can see in the distance, and I just completely topped it. Well, if I hadn't pulled my tee shot, I'd be looking at that central bunker I don't know if I'm in the drink yet Ooh, get past that yeah you're fine there it's gone a bit down the toilet since we turned rule one with a divot make it bigger oh, I wish it was up the far end not Well, that's a bit unfortunate. The trolley's getting away from me. But that's life. Had to really dig for that ball, and of course, it's, it's come out hot. Some wonderful golf holes here. Although, ever since we made the turn, or even on the ninth, I hit a lovely drive on nine. I had a, got the wrong iron into the green, and since then, it's gone a bit down, down the toilet. There have been very few highlights of my round. <laughs> <laughs> There's been very few highlights of mine so far. Five. Five. 
that's good. Somebody's been trying to clear the water away with the butter. And they've Uh, I'm sorry, Gloucester was somebody who used the bunker right. That's damage, yeah. That's serious damage. Stupid. Once that's dry. So somebody's been putting from over here and they've been trying to move. Yeah, because that'll help. What a twat. And obviously a member on the comp day. Yeah. Par 3, big bunker right. Neil goes hybrid and I went 4 iron. Just turn over a bit. Shot. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know where it Putting, don't I? It looks to me like you were aligned a lot, a lot left. But then we've, we've all missed a, you know, we've missed short putts today. Thirteen middle length par three. Gentle dog leg to the right. This hole is absolutely made for my fade, so you know exactly where this ball is going, don't you? Another damn draw. Get in. Good putt. 14. Very narrow. Further you hit it, the tighter it gets. I like guess the sky straight away. I put a three wood in the trees on the right, so I was no use oh, at all in the middle. Right in the middle. I can't remember what he's got left here. Only about 80. But I think I've passed on the pulls. Nice and safe. I leave it a bit left, but not that much left. Come on. It's on the dance floor. It stopped, stopped very quick. The thing with these very large greens here, and with all the slopes, is if you are a long way from the flag, it is incredibly difficult. That is really good. It's just run out. I get stroke one. Hole is straight down and then a little kink to the left. Sometimes when you rush, you just Neil's driven just to the right edge of the fairway, which is the ideal place to be. And I'm going to try and copy that. Which isn't going to be easy considering I'm pulling it, but I might just get it right this time. Well, it's fading, but it's not right. We're getting beaten up by the golf course. I'm pulling my drives. Neil can't putt. All we can do is laugh. We're 
both turned into 18 handicappers. Not far to go now. Nope. Nearly there. Nearly there. But at least I'm not hitting it out of the trees this time. I've got 155 and I'm buggered. Oh, I've hammered it again. I've I've completely lost my uh, my touch with every feather in the bag. Dear, oh dear. At least one of us can get a par. You've got a really 16 is the last of the par threes. Medium length. In fact, we both hit the same club here. We both go with a six iron. And we finished just a few feet apart. It's in the heart of it. This is what I mean about this place. You can create a tee by making a mound of dirt and putting some turf on. Or you can make a nice tee. And that's what they've done. And everywhere you look, they've gone that little extra mile to make it much more pleasant to play golf on. It's a good putt. It's rapid, isn't it? It's, yeah, they just don't hold by the hole, do they? Three We've done that all day though. Yep. The yep. greens have fooled us all day. Number 17, another medium length par four. All I've got to do is hit a gentle fade. So you know how hard that's going to be for me right now. Yep, there it goes. Didn't even bother looking for that. That's in the knee deep hay. It's by that tree, isn't it? Let's get another crack. So why didn't you do that the first time, you muppet? Open shot to front, so it's an open green. Only got a nine iron in here. Oh boy. Why didn't you do it the first time? Because there's something mechanically wrong, that's why. Good. Well, this has been a very strange day. Got here and it was fine. We went on the range, had a warm up, had a drink and a bait and roll as you do. Then it lamped it down so it was back indoors for about an hour and ten minutes. We've been yakking all the way around so. I haven't even seen to the captain, normally at the start of a clip I'd go, like here, 119 yards, 9 iron. I haven't done any of that for ages. So I can't tell you what clubs we're hitting or how far we're hitting them or anything. But boy, it's been a good day. It's been a really good day. I don't know what we've scored, but it's been pretty miserable. Oh God, I've gone long. I didn't expect that to go long. We're going back that way, the 18th is that way. I gotta say I am really, really impressed with this golf course. The USGA Greens, they got me foxed. 
fairways are quite generous if I'm not hitting a pull. It's all the little touches, like little bits of fences. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to try too hard to make your golf course look nice. And it's the little bits. Have you done my push mark again? Going to, yeah. Bloody hell. I'm going to have to tip my caddy, he's doing my pitch marks. I haven't lifted the tripod all day, have I? So uh, that's a fair division of labour. It's not that heavy. <laughs> I know, but it takes a bit of thinking about it, I suppose. Right, Neil. Three more putts and then we can play the last hole. Three more putts. <laughs> Three feet up hills all right though. Yeah. It's a good goal. I've only held one putt and I think that was on the eighth. It's not like you, is it? These are tricky. These are very tricky. <laughs> this has been the story of our round. I've been really consistent. It's because we're gassing. If we weren't gassing, if we were playing golf, it would be a lot better, but we're just gassing, really. Yeah, I suppose. One to go. Because we've been gassing. Well, that's a good knock. Sensible choice. Kick in the fairway. That'll do. Well, we ran out of shots some considerable time ago. I think we're both of the sort we can either talk or play golf, and we can't do both. And all we've done is yak all the way around. Oh, that is a beautiful wood. That is a beautiful drawn wood. It's gone right to the back of the green. It might have gone off. I just knobbed me three wood in there. <laughs> yeah, beautiful drive, knobbed my three wood in there. Oh, well. Oh, oh, I tell a lie, it's short, it's short. Anyway, this is Neil's hole, so you won't see this yet. Thank goodness. This is just like the ninth. Absolutely beautiful finish right in front of the clubhouse. Very modern, very smart. Oh, it looks like they might have had a wedding today. What's the odds on getting a kiss off the bride? I tell you, you keep the groom busy and I'll get a kiss <laughs> off the bride. Here we go. Yep, I, I think it's going to be another three putt. And I'm up there on top of the bank, so I'll probably have a three putt as well. I really appreciate your faith in me, Simon. <laughs> I, I share it, by the way. Yeah. See, I was thinking earlier when I was stood out there, I was thinking, I don't want to be left with this flag. And look where I am. Right, come on, finish with a birdie. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. It's tough, isn't it? It's gone and it's gone and it's gone. <laughs> oh boy, I'm not even going to finish with a pot. You know, this is what the role of the modernist should have been like, and it wasn't. It was uh, 
It's just saying the rolls should have been like this and it wasn't. They, they were slow for the rolls. <laughs> you concentrated so much. <laughs> I'm not going to three put. I'm not going to three put. <laughs> Oh, brilliant, Neil. You've given me a wonderful day out. Thank you so oh, much. I really enjoyed it. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers mate. We're going to do this again. This isn't going to be the last time. Yeah, we will. I've really enjoyed it. Oh, boy. What a day I've had. So, Neil has treated me to everything today. I haven't put my hand in my pocket once, and he wouldn't let me. And um, we're going to try and arrange for Neil to come down to Lilybrook sometime. We're going to get our summer holidays. Oh, good. Sorry about this. This is late in the evening. We're going to get the summer holidays out of the, out of the way and we're going to meet up again. And hopefully I'm going to drag some of my mates up here. This golf course is outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. A few tricky holes that we made a mess of. Very difficult greens. Um, goodness knows what we would have done when they were up to speed because obviously we had that downpour now I don't mind if I get beaten up by the greens if I, if I strike the ball well all well and good and if I don't score because the greens are, are tricky that's that's fine I don't mind that but today I was I was definitely off color and and so was Neil so we're gonna do this again probably the end of August now because I record about a month in advance, today is actually July, I think it's July the 10th, I can't see on my watch. And um, what time is it? It's approaching half past eight, which means I'm not gonna get home till midnight-ish. And I don't care, I've, I've really enjoyed the day. So the next time perhaps we'll try and get an earlier tea time. Um, and um, get home a little earlier. But yeah, this, this is rather special. And my thanks to the, the golf manager who uh, basically gave me courtesy of the course. Uh, I think the normal green fee today would have been 50 pounds. And um, yes, it's worth that and more. Anyway, cheerio, see you in the next one. Tara.